Hi guys, I'm Saurav and in this video I will be showing you how do we exactly do steel wheel photography. So you might have seen shots like this on the internet and you might have read that this is known as steel wheel photography. But you are thinking, holy shit, how do you do this? Don't worry about that. We will be covering everything. Everything means the photography techniques you need, what are the requirements and I will give you some tips also because in this type of photography you are actually dealing with real fire. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you require is steel wool. So this is steel wool, right? Where you're going to light up the fire. Uh, if you ask me where do you get this, you can get this in any of the general stores. So this is the first thing that you require. The second thing that you require is the egg bitter and a rope attached to it. I will show you it. So this is the egg bitter where you're going to insert the steel wool and this is the rope which you're going to attach and basically by holding this you're going to rotate the uh, egg beater and once the steel wool is inside it and it has uh, lightened up the fire then you're going to rotate it and that's how you're going to capture the effect. Now if you're not understanding how exactly you're going to get the result don't worry about that. We'll be sharing you all the details about what we, how, how we photograph and each and everything. So uh, these are uh, basic, basically all the things you require. Talking about the gear, uh, you need a very sturdy tripod here because in the high altitude areas because you will be having a very strong wind, right? So you need a very sturdy tripod. This is the lens which I'm going to use. This is the Tamron 1530mm f2.8 VC and this will be attached to the Nikon D750. I can't show you the camera body of course because that is what I'm using to capture this video. But this is going to be the wide angle lens that I'm going to use to capture the images. Uh, is it necessary that you want a wide angle lens? Uh, I say no, but if you have a wide angle lens then it's good, right? You get some of the foreground elements and one thing that uh, as a photography tip is if you have an interesting element like Milky Way or something like steel wool, then make sure you have your foreground elements also because capturing only steel wool is not interesting. But capturing some foreground elements like mountains or grasses or anything like a waterfall or something or you have a reflection, then it would be great. So these are basically all the things that you require to do steel wool photography. Now let's start shooting some images. So this is how it will look with your naked eye once you light up the steel wool and put it into the egg beater and keep on revolving it. Now to capture the whole image we are using a technique known as long exposure photography. Now let's see the result. This was the image that I was able to produce that day and now let's see what are the photography settings that we use to capture this image. Speaking about the ISO, I kept my ISO at 100 because I wanted the cleanest image to be possible. Remember, the lesser the ISO, the quality is better of the image. For the aperture, I used f8 just because I wanted the whole image to be in focus. For the shutter speed, I use a shutter speed of 35 seconds. Anything between 20 to 40 seconds will be okay. I used a bulb mode and I used a remote here to reduce the camera shake. The next two settings are the focus modes which I kept it manual before shooting it I locked my focus and this is very important and if your lens has any kind of image stabilization make sure you're turning that off because anyways you, you are using that tripod right so these are the photography settings that you have to keep in mind. Now speaking about the do's and don'ts, the very first point is use a sturdy tripod, okay? So because it's a very important to use a sturdy tripod because it can produce camera shake. Again, to reduce camera shake, I'm using a remote here and I'm using a bulb mode because using a remote is very convenient because there is no physical contact directly uh, from your body and the camera because you're using a remote. And the third thing is a safety tip. Remember the person who is performing it should wear a hoodie if possible because it can cause injury the fire sticks can fall on your body. The fourth thing to remember is use a good lighter to light the steel wool because it's very tricky to light it in windy situations. Now let's speak about the don'ts. The first thing is don't choose a location which can catch fire. In this video we are, have chosen a location very wisely because we knew that this place can't catch fire. The reason behind it is the grass is very wet since it rained a couple of hours ago. So make sure you, you are choosing a location which is uh, not very near to the city and which is uh, not prone to catch fire. Choose a place which is made up of concrete or choose a place which has wet grass like this. Okay, And then the second 
thing you have to remember is you don't position your camera too close to the fire okay don't position your camera too close to the per person performing it because if the fire streaks hit your lenses or the camera it can cause serious damage to your equipments so these are the two things that you have to remember and you're good to go Special thanks to Umka Joshi because he helped me to capture this whole video. This whole video was made possible because of him. And also Rohit because while I was shooting he helped me a lot. And also uh, last but not the least Swapnil Savant because he was a real man in action. So special thanks to all of you guys. So finally we have completed the shoot. It was a very tedious shoot because you know it was a very windy location. So when the wind is very high, you know, it, uh, you have to struggle a bit with the lighting of the steel wool, but at the end it's worth. So all the camera settings are mentioned and if you have any doubts, of course you can leave them in the comments below. And if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Your support will encourage me to make more such videos. I hope you like the video. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.